one thing that can show up on the Rockwell cubes. Uh, we actually had a conversation last time I, I was over there. We talked about the algae that's on there. And uh, I think there's misconceptions about algae. Yeah. Break it down for us. Talk to us all about algae being on Rockwell. Is it harmful or harmless? Uh, what's your experience with that? Yeah, completely harmless. It's, uh, it just doesn't look good. You know, people want to see the, the rock roll and it's pristine. So a lot of people will get the plastic inserts that go over. So, I, you know, the sun can't hit it. But algae, when we're talking specific plants, algae is completely harmless. It it does nothing. It does act annoying because it creates like a little barrier on the top where like you'll have to water like an extra couple of seconds to penetrate through the algae. Outside of that, it absolutely does nothing. It's 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 very it's common anywhere that you have water and light constant water and light algae will form it'll do it in a fish tank it'll do it in a pool it'll do it anywhere that's why we use chlorine in pools that's why we use you know cleaners and scrubbers and fish tanks and other fish to specifically eat algae in nature nature figures out its own way to handle algae but you know there's we could do it but now we're adding different things that don't need to be mixed into the plants just for the sake of taking out something that's already harmless for the plant anyways. So yeah, it's just a lot of people look at it and they're like, Oh my God, is that molt? Nope. It's just algae. It's no big deal. Calm down. But yeah, it's nothing. It's no big deal at all. I think the only time it would be potentially a problem is if you see it on soil and your plant is struggling, right? Then you could potentially have an overwatering symptom that happens. And that happened to me before where it's like seeing that little bit of algae growth on there, look up at the plant and be like, uh Oh, looks yeah. like it's a little bit overwatered. So that might be an indication if you're in soil to kind of back off on things. But this is something that is in Jeff Lowenfeld's book. I'm not sure if you read Teeming with Microbes. No. Probably not because I know you're not a soil guy, but yeah, uh, no. he's very in depth about utilizing microbes and growing plants and stuff like that. He has a, a whole chapter, a section on algae. Okay. And it talks about how really it breaks down to like silica. And so yeah. that's, that's a non essential element for the plant. So it's actually can be beneficial. So yeah, I figured I'd bring up algae because uh, I know it's a common misconception when it comes to growing in Rockwell. Yep. Yeah, and it's in everybody's... I mean, I've never seen a garden in Rockwell that doesn't have it, unless they're using those little plastic inserts that go over the blocks. I've seen it in my humidifier before. And again, like you mentioned, that the sunlight does it on the water and it could the algae could form. And you know, obviously, I have to go in there and clean it and stuff. I had a pool and I had to manage my pool and you get algae blooms that come up. And what do you do? Well, there are products that you can buy to get rid of algae. Really what, what feeds the algae is phosphorus in particular, like talking about <laughs> me. I just think about me managing my swimming pool. There was a product called Phosfree, which you put in once a week. And it, you know, obviously you remove the plant material that's, uh, you know, the fallen debris that comes in the pool, remove all that because that's just feeding the algae. So um, anyways, yeah, it's funny how this all relates. Yeah, there's correlations everywhere. It's, and that's the thing is, uh, again, going back to wanting to demystify it, they're, they're, the correlations between humans and plants are insane. The correlations between how humans reproduce and plants are insane. You know, there's, it's endless. Like It really is an ecosystem that isn't different than ours. It actually fits into ours. You know, it's... It's pretty cool. This clip was brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrowIt15 to save on any of their gardening products.